Mr. Tony's Hip Hop School in full effect, baby. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, subscribe, share. Share, like, subscribe. However you want to say it. I'm Mr. <clears throat> I'm Mr. Tony. A lot of y'all know me as Ron, I know, but my middle name is Anthony. And yes, there was a time that I used my middle name and I called myself Tony. So those that are very close to me knows this. So there's no phony in Mr. Tony. This is my hip hop school channel. I call it a school because it's like going back in time and teaching about old school because it might be some people that don't know or are not super familiar with old school hip hop. The greatest hip hop from the beginning to 2004. Greatest era, 86 to 94. The peak, 88 to 92. You heard it from me. That is the fucking truth. That's a fact. You might have some people that skew it a little bit, maybe 84, maybe 90, maybe to, to, maybe to 2000. I'm talking about the golden era, but nah. 86 to 94, baby. Um, This one, I'm going to have to be quick because I'm trying to keep the minutes. You know what I mean? I don't want to be boring, people. Um, This is the greatest hip-hop duo. Two people in a hip-hop group. That shit hard, man. Because I was thinking about it. Oh, but I'm sorry. Main source in the background. Main source that was Large Professors group. Large Professor is one of my favorite producers of all time. Large Professor, you the man. This is a friendly game of baseball. One of my favorite songs they made. Anyway, got to get to this shit. Hey, man. I, this list is, is, first of all, it's a lot of motherfuckers. And this shit really hard. Mob Deep. Most people going to think of Mob, Mob Deep. Like right now, I just thought of somebody else. Fucking nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Uh, nice and smooth. I used to like them, man. I used to play them a lot. Mob Deep, Outkast. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to just say it right now. Who I think is the greatest duo. All right, I got to do two sides. Fuck that. I got to do from the hood side and I got to do from the from a commercial side. I'm not, no, fuck that. We're going to go through the list. Um, Every now and then there'll be a little commercial in there and I got to, I got to, you know what I'm saying? Sorry about that. So we'll go down the list. And this is all over the country. I'm not just going to say East Coast. I know there's some people out there that's probably from New Mexico somewhere. Why you ain't saying nothing about the West Coast? But that's exactly why you ain't saying nothing about the Midwest? Mob Deep, Outkast, Black Star, EPMD, UGK, Capone and Noriega, Pete Rock and CL Smooth, Nice and Smooth, Eight Ball and MJG, one of my favorites. Um, uh, Smith and Wesson. Das Effects, Artifacts, Black Sheep, Dead Prez, and for the ladies, Salt and Pepper, baby, and Finesse and Sinquist. Motherfuckers don't even know nothing about Finesse and Sinquist. Like, who the fuck is that? Finesse and Sinquist was out in the probably mid 80s. They had a few hits in New York. They never blew up. I don't know what happened. I think they broke up. I think something happened with, with the two of them. They was kind of cute. They wore some fly ass outfits. I remember that shit. They used to wear like this green and yellow outfit. It was all right. 
So I had to throw them in there. I mean, I, I, yo, salt and pepper, man. They high on the list. Fuck that. But Mob Deep, I'm going to tell you, Mob Deep, EPMD, Outkast. Damn, for me, Dots Effects. Some people might say Capone and Noriega. Pete Rock and CL Smooth, man. That, woo! That's a hard one. Pete Rock and CL Smooth. I played the shit out of them. Pete Rock and CL Smooth, I played them so much that my, um, because you know I come from a different era. Cassette tapes. My cassette melted a little bit. Cause you know back then motherfucker plays music riding around the city. That shit got hot, man. My, that's how much I played them. Pete Rock and CL Smooth might be my greatest duo. Even though I was really thinking about Mob Deep. Cause Mob Deep, man. Yo, man. Mob Deep was Mob Deep was the shit. But then EPMD. EPMD, baby. Oh, my God. Their first album was a fucking monster. I can listen to the whole joint. I can listen to all they shit. See, this is what I'm saying. The music back then was so much better because I just said, and I'm, I know I'm probably missing about 10 more motherfuckers. But these are the people I can think of. And I even had to look on the, um, I had to Google it too. Because I didn't want to forget nobody. And I know it's still people I'm forgetting. I guarantee it. So, but out, I'm going to tell you right off the bat. Outcast, they honestly might be the best. Because they, they had hood shit and commercial shit. You know what I'm saying? They they were multifaceted. They 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 are probably the best. And then you know you do record sales. I don't go by record sales. Fuck that. I come from the era when the record sales wasn't high. You know, I mean you could also do Meth and Red too. Meth Man and Red Man. I never looked at them as an official group. I just always thought that they just toured together. You know what I'm saying? They best friends. So. But Meth and Red is, is up there too. Because Red Man is one of my favorite rappers of all time. And so is Method Man. But for me, on this list, much as I hate to do it, EPMD, Pete Rock and CL Smooth, baby. Pete Rock and CL Smooth. But that's just because Pete Rock is one of my favorite fucking producers. And I used to love his beats. EPMD, ah. Uh, I'm sorry, EPMD. I'm sorry. <laughs> man, this shit is like picking your favorite kid, man. This shit is hard. Yo, A-Ball, MJG, I used to like them, man. They from Memphis. They from down, uh, uh, yeah, they from Memphis. Yeah, they from Memphis. I know I said that twice. I'm sorry. Um... And then Smith and Wesson is another one I used to like. That I used to play a lot. Smith and Wesson. Oh my God, man. That's a tough one. Artifacts. I used to play a lot of them. Dead Prez. But see, Dead Prez, they ain't had too many albums. Dead Prez had like, and then Dead Prez had a few songs I liked. Hit, ha. Hip, hop, hip, hop, hip. It's all about hip, hop, hip, hop. That was my fucking shit. Yeah, this this joint, woo! I might have had to do these in order, like the top five. That's easier, at least for me. I can tell you, Pete Rock, Seal Smooth. Uh, oh shit, Gangstar. Oh shit, how could, I, how could I forget about them? Oh, yo, I told you I knew it was some people I forgot. Oh my God, my bad guru, my fault. 
Damn, man. That changes the game right there. Hey, yo, not the word yeah, I had to go with Gangstar. Fuck that. Hey, Pete, my bad. I... Gangstar. Fuck that. I love me some Gangstar. I love all the albums. My favorite, though, was uh, Step in the Arena. They first album, Step in the Arena, Daily Operation, and Hard to Earn. Told you, man, I love hip hop, man. I know this shit. I know this shit like I know my daughter. Um, yeah, man, fuck that. Gangstar, nigga. Gangstar. Guru was my nigga. Um, yeah, so that's Gangstar, Pete Rock, EPMD. Black Star was up there too. Most definitely Talib Kweli. But they ain't have enough bangers for me. Nice and smooth. So it's Gangstar, Pete Rock, CL Smooth, EPMD, Nice and Smooth. And probably, probably the Artifacts. These are like they beats, man. So you gotta remember, man, the 90s, the 80s, the 90s is is the base, the base rule. You had to have a fucking system in your car. This is hip hop, man. This is why this shit is special. Motherfuckers don't get this shit. This is why I be fucking hating when motherfuckers be talking some dickhead shit, talking about some, oh man, that, you know, that Asian break dancing. Man, look, man, look, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. People don't get it. Hip hop is from the hood. Hip hop was bred from the hood. You know what I'm saying? You had to be somebody, you had to be in the hood. You had to be, you either grew up in the hood or you was always in the hood. You know the hood lingo, you know the slang. You know motherfuckers in the hood, different hoods. You may have been somebody in the hood or you was protected by motherfuckers. You had to be a hood motherfucker. Now that you ain't had to be a street nigga, it's a difference. I mean, a street nigga is a motherfucker in the streets, doing street shit, drug dealing, gangster shit, all that shit. I wasn't a I wasn't a street nigga. I was a pl a dude that loved women, play a player. You know what I'm saying? I just was in the streets, but I was from the hood, so I know I know that I know the whole situation. See, that's what I'm saying. This shit is special, man. This shit has to be fucking protected. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went off base. I'm sorry. But yeah, man. Let me know. Please let me know what y'all think. Who's your favorite duo? Then I forgot about Das Effects. Fuck. That's one of my boys' favorite. He, that's one of his favorite. My boy, Damon. Hopefully, he's watching this shit. Das Effects, man. Oh, my God. But... They they might have been like six. Cause fuck that. Gangstar, I played a whole lot. Pete Rock, I wore the fucking cassette tape out. EPMD, I played a whole lot. They might have they might have wore out my speakers. Uh who was the other one I said? Oh, nice and smooth. And um Oh my god, I fucking fucking forgot the other one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, and I said Mob D. But Outkast is up there too. They might be seven on my list. On my list. But in the big in the big picture, Outkast is the best. Outkast is really the best. Probably commercially, they had a they've been out since '93. They had a lot, and, and they had some hood shit too. So they was versatile. But for me, Gangstar, fuck that. Guru, you my man. Premier, Premier, you're my man. So for me, Gangstar. For, for, for the commercialized motherfuckers, Outkast. Let me stop. <laughs> Yo, let me know what y'all think, man. I'm very curious to know. This is this is this is some shit right here. 
I might have to come back to this shit and do the list. I had to do a list. You know what I'm saying? But for me, Gangstar, but I think the overall and the big picture, if you was to watch TV, it would be Outkast. It's going to be Outkast. Fuck that. But let me know what you think. And also, too, let me know what y'all want to talk about. Like, or what you want me to talk about. Like, your favorite DJs, your favorite radio DJ, DJs, your favorite clothes, your favorite... Anything dealing with old school hip hop up to 2004. Okay? Let me know. Holla at a nigga. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, share. Please do that. Please. Like, whatever you do. Can you do it now, please? Please? All you gotta do is this. Thank you. Alright, y'all. Peace. I'm out. I'm about to do another video. Mr. Tony's Hip Hop School. I'm out.